I'll do that for you. See you now. Sorry I'm late, boss. Yeah, you're all right. It's this new alarm clock I've got. I must have saved for 7 o'clock at night by accident. You put the kettle on and stop my having, eh? Right, yeah. Kiss, kiss. You sound happy. I'll give you a rollicking if you'd rather. No, no. Have a good time at the wedding. Yeah, great, thanks. Girls enjoy it. Yeah. Nice that, innit? You know, when you can get on. Most couples just row once they split up. Yeah, not us, mate. In fact... What? You had your breakfast, mate? No, I came straight in. Oh, you better go to the cafe, get yourself a butter. Nice one. That was the best time I've had in ages. I'm glad you liked it. What was your wedding night, Mum? Well, it wasn't as posh as Gail and Richard's, but me and your dad were happy enough. Did anyone enjoy it, like, on Saturday? Hey, you don't have to wait for a wedding to have a good time. You have a fun and games at this play scheme you're going to. Where's that leaflet that says what time it finishes? Still, it won't be as good as Saturday. I don't know what all the fuss was about. You've been to a wedding before. Not like that one. You were bridesmaids for your dad and Alison. You were thrilled to bits about that. It won't be as good as Saturday. And what is so special about Saturday? Are you and Dad being back together? Where's that leaflet? There it is. Collect between five and six, or I'll come and pick you up straight after work, all right? Yeah. Now, upstairs, go and brush your teeth, girls. Come on. Mm. Oh, it's ten to nine. I'm going to be late. Oh, don't go see you sick. Mm. I don't even want to spend the rest of the day in bed with me. <laughs> yeah. It's not as easy as that, though, is it? Isn't it? I'm only here for a week, remember? Mm, I feel bad, though. Yeah, well, you'll feel even worse when I'm gone, knowing what you passed up. Mm. What if Audrey finds out? Mm, she won't. Anyway, she'd understand one day, won't hurt. <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hello? Hiya, Audrey, it's Maria. Oh, hello, love. Hiya, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well. Oh, dear, what's the matter? I think I must have eaten something dodgy. I've been up all night. That's true. Oh, have you taken out for it? Not really, no. Look, I've got some really good stuff for tummy upsets. I'll bring it upstairs, shall I? No, no, I'll be all right. It's very good, honestly. No, I've got something in the cupboard, come to think of it. Do you think you'll be off all day, lovey, cos we're quite busy this afternoon? Well, I'll ring you, shall I? But you take care of yourself, all right? Yeah, I will. Speak later. Bye. Oh. What, she goes up to the flat looking for me? She's in for a shock, isn't she? Oh, yeah. mm. That's a... Morning! Morning! Nice <laughs> to see you. Yeah, you right. Oh, fine, I'm fine. <laughs> so, uh, any problems while I've been away? Oh, no, no, none at all, none at all. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so, there's been no bother with supplies and customers? No, no. <laughs> you and Gina? You managed to rub along without me there? Yeah. <laughs> Everything ran like clockwork. <laughs> oh, no, no, I noticed the place was still in one piece. <laughs> I'm just going over to cafe for breakfast, so I'll not be under your feet on my first day back. Oh, no need to for me. I've got that place just how I want it. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted to wear. <laughs> You'll be fine, love. You'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> You're wasting your time with that. Why? She almost laid that bloke out in that hotel. Unless you're a Mel Gibson type, you've got to try a different tack with this kind of totty. Like what? Show your more sensitive side. Watch and learn, Grasshopper. Morning, ladies. Sleep well? Like a rock, Liz. You're going to be looked after and cherished while you're here. Look at Kirk. Right, nice muscle definition there, fella. Thanks. Are all English blokes as hunky as you? Well... You must do a lot of hard yakka down at the gym. How many days do you go? Three or four. Yeah? I like a man that works out. Me too. He's a beaut. This smells great. Only the best, like you say. Is it true about what they say with street crime in England? What's that, my little totty? Worse here than in New York, according to the papers back home. Oh, don't believe what you read in the papers. Yeah, but what if we get mugged on the way to the games, Asava? If you're worried about that, I will give you a lift in 
personally. Oh, Liz, that would be lovely. Thank you. I'm having no guest in my country go in fear for their safety. Looks like we've found a real pair of sweeties, Kerry. We have landed on our feet. And our sausage, egg and bacon, we all the trimmings. Only three weeks to the Robus centenary. Is that right? Yeah, you, you will be marking it in some way, I suppose. Will I? Yes, well, it is a very important date locally. There's all sorts of theories as to who the rover was and why he returned. There were all sorts of theories about that skirmish on Red Wreck. And look where that got us. No, <laughs> I'm stopping well clear of history after that. I say well clear. It, it would be a shame if it, if it went unnoticed. It'll not get noticed by me. I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> so I ended up saying I'd give it a go. Well, that's fantastic news, Sally. Yeah, but I don't know if I've done the right thing or not. Well, it's got to be worth the try. I mean, look how miserable it's been for you. Well, yeah, it has. And you say you enjoyed the wedding together? Well, we did. And the girls enjoyed it? Yes, but that's what's bothering me. Rosie told me they only enjoyed the wedding cos me and Kevin were back together. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, but if we blow it again, we're gonna mess them up big time. Well, you're just gonna have to make sure that doesn't happen, aren't you? Well, that's easily said. Look, you'll have to work at it, make the ground rules and then stick to them. Well, I think I can do that, but whether Kevin can... I can't help thinking what he really wants is just a full-blown relationship. But this was Kev's idea, wasn't it? Yeah. So what are you saying, that he's trying to trick you into something? No, I, I think he means what he says, but whether in the long run he's going to be happy with that, I'm worried that he's going to want something more, and when I can't give it to him, it's all just going to turn sour. Sounds like you've got some more talking to do. Oh, Ro, yeah. love it, just give us a soup and a roll. That's all I've time for today. Oh, you're busy? Yes, and I've got Maria off with an upset tummy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Did she keep you awake, Toya? What? Maria, up all night being poorly. Oh, that, uh... Oh, you're someone that can stay through anything, are you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, you tell her that she's going to be back at work tomorrow, otherwise she's in trouble. <laughs> Go there, you are, oh, she didn't look sick okay, last time I saw her. Hey, Maria? <laughs> okay. Is she really bad? I've no idea. I mean, to be honest, I've not seen her since she left for the wedding. Why, when did you see her? At the reception. Going into a hotel bedroom. Not when it tills like. Ooh. Couldn't possibly comment. Fred! Oh, you're back! Oh, well, place hasn't been the same without you in charge. Well, you can't have missed me much. I've only been gone two weeks. <laughs> I, I thought you'd have been in for sing. No, no, I'd one or two things to see to. Any road, things have been going all right without me, haven't they? Well, yeah. So, what do you need me for? Sensitive approach. They're all over my six pack this morning. Still not scored though, have you? Long way to go yet, pal. Have you any brass? I'm running a bit low. Take out the rent. They haven't paid yet, have they? This street is a real dump. Yeah, well, at least it's all been free so far. Yeah, thanks to these bozos. Careful, Jules. There's only so far we can string them along. Yeah, I don't fancy Les getting the wrong idea in the cab. Watch out, they're coming. There you go, ladies. Oh, thanks, Les. How much do we owe you? On the house. Oh, are you sure? Ah, oh, pleasure. Cheers, oh, cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Well, I told Rita we won't be leaving the flat. <sighs> right, well, never mind. At least we've still got the new sofa to look forward to. I told you to cancel it. And I told you no. Karen, we can't afford two and a half thousand no, pounds. Excuse me, we can afford it more than ever now because we're not moving. No, we can't. He's coming this afternoon. What? And that's final. I wondered how long I had before a Batsby turned up. Is Maria in there? What's it to you? Look, I don't know what your problem is, Toya. Oh, it's Maria's problem, not mine. So you are here. Here, yeah, what's going on? She doesn't approve of me because I married her sister and it didn't work out. Oh, it's a bit more complicated than that. She blames me for it. Well, it was hardly Leanne's fault. That's a matter of opinion, Toya. What, and is that it? Yeah, more or less. Look, Maria, I'm warning you. This bloke's trouble. Yeah, well, I think I'll be the judge of that, thank you. Well, he's already got you lying to Audrey. And Toya, none of this is your business. Just watch what you're getting into, that's all. Yeah, well, I'm a big girl now, thanks. Well, you'll need to be. Oh! Gleaming cheek! 
Who does she think she is? Like there's some big secret you're not telling me. Actually, there is something you should know. Are you staying that side of the bar all day? No, well, I don't mean to be. Hey, Fred, you know, it's the Rover Centenary in three weeks' time. Not you as well. Well, don't you think you should do something? Me and history is history. Yeah, it could be a laugh. Yeah, and it could make us a bit of money and all. You think so? Mm. Don't we talk me thinking, Cap on. Uh, uh, well, we can both think of something. No, no, you're back. Well, if it's no trouble. Oh, no trouble at all, Fred. Thank goodness. Do you mind, Norris? No, no, you don't understand. All the cabs are busy and I'm late for the games. Yeah? Well, you can get lost. I'm busy and all. Are you going to the games? Uh, yes, I'm an official. What, like a judge? Well, a more ceremonial. He hands the medals out. Wow, oh, respect. That is Norris, is it? Uh, yes, that's right. right. Uh, what, what, one of my best mates is Norris. You could give him a lift, couldn't you, Les? Yeah, you can come with us. Well, I suppose when you put it like that. Yeah, do you mind if we just finish our drinks first, Norris? No, no, not at all. I'll, I'll just nip to the gents. Uh, thanks, Les. He seems like a nice kind of guy. Yeah, we like a sensitive man, don't we, Jules? Just what I was telling Kurt this morning. Really? Looks like Les has a sus, Kerry. It sure does. We better watch out. <laughs> Martin. Yeah? How have things been here since I've been away? Why, you've been away? Have you not noticed? Cat says I have, no. Oh, well, now much can have gone wrong then. She must be doing a good job, mm. must Shelley. Oh, yeah, you've trained her up well, Fred. Oh, that was the intention. <laughs> Reality bitten yet, has it? Come again. Were you? Being back to a lowly barmaid again. Give her a rest, eh, Gina? Yeah, well, no, Fred's back. Not fair that he gave you that job over me. I'm just glad it was only for a fortnight. Left a bit, Mal. That's it. A hang on, put it down. Uh, what's the matter? Well, we need the back facing that way so we can get it round. Um, uh, that's it. Uh, watch the paintwork. Hang on, this ain't gonna work either. You, uh, you gonna get it in, though? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, we'll get, we'll get it in. You know, it's just a question of how. Hiya. Oh, hiya, Kev. Actually, I was gonna pop in and see you. Yeah, we've got some talking to do, haven't we? Are you free tonight? Uh, sooner the better. About nine, after I put the kids to bed. All right, I'll see you then. See you. Oh, actually, Kevin, I've just remembered. I said I'd pick the girls up from this play scheme they're going to, only Rita's asked me to work late. You couldn't pick them up for me, could you? Sure, what's that? Between five and six at school. Well, see you later. Cheers, see you. Why didn't you tell me before? I've only just met you. Did you tell me your life story before we jumped into bed? <laughs> no. I still feel bad about the abortion, but what else could we have done? We were too young. I know all about that. You fall in love at 17 and you think you know it all. Suddenly there's a baby and you realise... you're just kids. I'm not proud... of the way I let the end down, but I couldn't handle it. It's just like me and Tyrone. I mean, we weren't married and... I didn't get pregnant or anything like that, but... well, we were heading that way. <laughs> I thankfully never got there. I am. Thanks for telling me. What's that? It's not Tyre, is it? Oh, it's McGran. What are we going to do? Hide in the kitchen. Oh, no, I can't do that. Well, go upstairs, then, quick. Yep. Hi, Gran. Hi, come in. Hi, sweetheart. I just thought I'd drop in on the way home, see how you're coping. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, you can always come and stop with me, you know, if you need company. No, it's cool here. Yeah. Anyway, I said I'd keep an eye on the place. Oh, well, I have had a heck of a day. Really? Mm. You know, little Maria works for me. Well, she uh, phoned in sick this morning, food poisoning or something. Oh, right, her uh, who was at the wedding. Now, don't play the innocent with me, Nick. Acting like you don't remember her. Cos I saw the way you were looking at each other <laughs> the other day. Actually, she dropped me right in it, to be honest. I think she can be a bit flighty. Right, I'll get off home. Are you sure you don't want to come for your tea? No, I'm fine, honestly. Don't like to leave you on your own. Well, I've got your number for change my mind. Oh. Mm. Take care of yourself. See you. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye.
Right, you can come down now, flighty. Cool, I want to see her. So there's something I should know about you. Oh, no. I don't want to hide anything from you, Nick. Uh, Shell, can I have a pint, please, Martin? Yeah. Do you want one? Ah, uh, yeah, go on, thanks. I won't ask you how the wedding went. OK, yeah. Uh, understand now you must be feeling about it. Mm. I just wish something had happened for me, that's all. Someone will turn up. Always does. Yeah, and for you. Yeah. Got to keep plodding on, haven't you? Look, we're always talking about going uptown together. And we're always complaining about being single. We never do out about it. Nope. So why don't we go up tonight, then? Uh, no, I'm going to put the kids up for cellar. Then I've got one or two jobs. Oh, right. Cheers. You do it soon, though, eh? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Yeah. You OK, love? Yeah, it's <laughs> About this pub manager's job. Oh, yeah. Well, you've been doing very well by all accounts, so what do you say if, uh, if I asked you to do it for a bit longer? Oh, I'd, I'd say fantastic. You think you can manage it? Yeah. yeah. The thing is, uh, <clears throat> I'd quite like to see you doing it myself before I make any promise about permanent. So, uh, what about a few weeks' dry out? OK. Now, mind you, I think you do a good job. Oh, thanks, Fred. Hey, I'll not let you down. You better not. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Hey, listen, I've been thinking what Fred was saying about this centenary, and I've had a few ideas. Um, yeah. Can we talk about this later? It's just customers need serving. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I think I take my order from Fred. Now he's back. Um, excuse me, but I think he's just asked me to stay on as manager. So, when you finish serving, there's a rack of empties need washing. And, um, we'll talk about this later. Yeah? You see, I told you there's nothing to worry about, didn't I? Yeah. No, oh, this ain't gonna work either. Drop it, Mal. Well, so what are you gonna do? Well, we'll have to take it back while you sort some of it out. Mm, can you not get it through the window upstairs? Well, not there a crane. Look, um, you can't do this. Look, Look, madam, we've got six more deliveries this right, afternoon. Right, fine, just leave it here, then. What, in the hall? Are you deaf or something? Well, are you going to get in and out? I'll deal with that, all right. Uh, whatever you say, madam. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, mutton. Dad, oh. don't be so stupid. Oh, you don't want to bounce on your head, eh? <laughs> no. You sure? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, yeah. Right, so forget these rust in the tap. You open some beans. I like it when you pick us up. Yeah? Well, I'll be uh, picking you up a lot more in future. Where's that, Dad? No, you'll have to wait and see. Come on, Dad, tell us. Oh, you may as well know. I'm, uh, I'm going to move back in. For good? Oh, Dad, that's well top. <laughs> when are you moving back in? Oh, I don't know. We've got to sort that out just yet. Hiya. Hiya. Dad's just told us. Told you what? But he's moving back in. Oh, has he indeed? This is the best news ever. So you're happy then? I still can't believe it. He's doing for your tea. Oh, I thought I'd make it, seeing that was it. Girls, why don't you go and watch a bit of telly till tea's ready? Cos me and your dad need a talk. There's a few things we need to discuss. Well, don't just go down the gym, you know. Spend a lot of time in libraries as well. Yeah? I've got a brain as well as a body. Oh, Kirk, you are just too much for one girl to handle. Cheers, love. Two steak and kidney. Thanks, mate. That was five pound and your drinks were three pound fifty. Just add it to the rent. We'll pay you later. Still not seen you on television, Norris. Oh, well, yeah, you can't have been watching it at the right times then. Oh, excuse me. I've taken four hours with them, fast forwarded all the way through. I didn't see a thing. Well, 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 we'll try watching it in slow motion. <laughs> oh, there's the metal man. Not. How do you mean? He was just ripping tickets and picking up rubbish. You're joking. Oh, we saw him. And tell him where the toilets are. Don't forget that one, Jules. Did he see you? Well, the lame toad. Oh, good evening, ladies. Uh, can, can I get you a drink? I think you've got... That'd be lovely. Um, two white wines, please, Norris. Uh, Thanks. Certainly. Doesn't even buy me a drink. That's the last lift he blags off me. Oh, go easy on him, Les. He hasn't got much going for him, the poor guy. Yeah, you're big enough for that, aren't you, Les? Yeah, it's a big turn on when men are considerate like that. What 
the hell's that sofa doing in the hall? <clears throat> Nearly broke me flipping leg climbing over the thing. I know, tell me about it. They couldn't get it in. Why not? Um, <laughs> because it's too big. Well, then it'll have to go back then, won't it? Mm -mm. No, I think something. Karen, if it's too big... I'll sort something out. Look, it was bad enough if the thing was going to be in the living room. But on its side, blocking the, the door... The sofa is staying! I've just lost my dream flat. I'm damn I'm going to lose my dream sofa and all. I didn't mean to tell him. Just slipped out. Well, you should have waited. Why? If we're doing this anyway. So they go out tomorrow and they tell the rest of the street that we're getting back together again. Are you ready for that? Well, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, we was meeting tonight to discuss it anyway, weren't we? Yeah, but we should have done that before we told them anything. I mean, how much do we tell them about this arrangement? I don't know. Because now they're going to be expecting a normal marriage now you've jumped in feet first playing happy families. I didn't think he was doing any harm. They're going to be devastated if this doesn't work out now. Well, that was always going to be a problem, Sal. We've got to make it work. You know, I'm, I'm sorry they rushed in, but they needed telling sooner or later. Yeah, but how we told them, that was crucial. You've just gone and blown it all muslin in like that. Muslin in? You're getting too close. I can't not show my affection while I'm here, Sal. Oh, you mean I'm getting too close to you? I'm just not sure that this arrangement is going to be enough for you. Look, it is, Sal. Is that what's bothering you? I should have thought all this through. I got all carried away at the wedding. What, you think I've got some sort of hidden agenda or something like that? I haven't! No, it's not just your fault. It's both of us. We've just jumped into this too quick. What are you saying, Sam? I'm saying I don't think this is such a good idea. There's too much riding on this if it goes wrong. <sighs> I think you'd better go.